worst part of dusting is the actual dust. But hello! Hope everyone's all doing well. Coming on in here. Greetings, Gregory. Welcome on in. V me mo. Pardon me. But. Oh. Sorry, dust has gotten to me. I was literally just dusting here. I was looking over and I saw a little bit of dust. So I was like, yeah, no, I got to clean this real quick. While the stream starts up here. So I was doing all that good stuff. And as I was. Everything blew up. So, hold on one second. OCD was not happy. There you go. Now we're happy. Now we're happy. But speaking of happy, let's get to this screen right here. This, this is, is a scene transition, transition, man. What he said. I hope you're all doing quite well. Got a new pair of glasses. My brain's still not used to it. They're kind of a little bit smaller on my face than my other pair. My other pair is like... Like right here, just chilling out. Like literally my old pair, which honestly I kind of prefer this pair over this pair. Like there's only a hair difference of what you know I could see with these. Yeah, that's right. Just like me. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, basically, got a pair right there. Yeah, like, for myself, like, I need to get myself probably, because I have the prescription written down. So, I, even if I don't like this pair necessarily, I can go and get a different pair. Probably get something that's, you know, better for my face. I'll try to find a replication of what that pair was existingly and get a pair for that. But in order to do that, they were like, oh, well, we can just take your frame and just put the new lenses in there and kind of look at it. I'm going, but then I can't see. <laughs> and it takes like a month for them to process all that. So yeah, this other pair is just because a little bit wider on my face. This one's a little bit tighter, like on the round, the, uh, they don't have a bend to it. So it's, it's definitely painful a little bit. It's like, if I take this off, see, there's no, there's no give. Uh, with that part. Speaking of this, these are filthy. I got myself a new fiber, like a fabric cloth. Yeah, and this is fighting me. But there you go. Now I can actually see again. Yeah, I'll probably get a different pair. Uh, they're cheap. Like, you can go to some glasses website place, and you can actually, as long as you have your actual prescription, which I have it, again, sitting around somewhere, uh, you can effectively get, um, you know, a frame that you would like to wear, like a like an orange frame or whatever, and they're pretty cheap. Uh, but again, today we're playing some Mortal Shell. Excited about this one for sure. Played this one originally on the Xbox. It was given to me by the developers, and I really loved it. Like, I thought it definitely carried the catalyst, or at least carried the... I reload up uh, 
uh, galaxy there, so you should, should see a little bit of a lag. Don't mind that. Uh, so basically, it's Dark Souls, but is pretty much the emphasis. It takes a lot of good elements from Souls, and again, does its own thing instead. Which again, is good. It takes, it takes the practice of what Souls initially is, but then it takes the good elements, and it's not shamed of it. Uh, but instead, it makes it its own little thing. Rogantic, welcome on in as well. I moved my tablet over here instead and seen how that works out so I can read chat. I got a corner of my eye from the screen so I can see if that works better. Me versus me kind of just looking all the way down like this away from the screen because I notice when I do that, I screw myself up in game. So I'm going to see if I can get a little bit closer to the screen if it would be okay. Uh, so far, I like it because I can kind of corner eye real well and I can see the chat while I'm playing. So it seems it works out pretty well. Wait for all this stuff to load in. There we go. Hello, Caffeine Terry. Welcome on in. Happy Friday to you as well. Take this, move this over. Move frames, put them there. See, I miss my old frames at the same time. I keep looking at them like, I wonder if I could take these out and, go, and put them in that one. But I don't think that would work out too well. <sighs> so, okay, everything's loaded in now. Very excited about this today. I'm going to be doing a fresh save. Like, I was playing it before for about, you know, whatever time, and I was goofing around with the game. To see how it ran my computer and all that, made sure I had to tweak anything as you do. And I came across a couple things which I thought were humorous, uh, but at the same time, it was like kind of like it was just funny to me. And so, with this new expansion that came out, or this free DLC uh, that just came out, they offering a roguelike element to the game, which I'll play a little bit of the game at first. Then if I remember, if someone reminds me about it or brings it up, I'll go and load up the DLC stuff to show you the difference. Just so that we get a compare, like a, a little bit of a, a better comparison of the game and what the DLC contains of. Uh, but for the most part, it's kind of like the, the infinite chalice dungeons you had in uh, Bloodborne. Like similar to that. Or just in general. Like just the roguelike thing. And it's pretty cool, like from what I've been looking at it, of it. Like, I didn't try to play too much of it. I looked at it, but then that was it. I looked away immediately. I was like, okay, I see what it is. Cool. I'll stop touching it because I want to get a fresh experience with it, hands and fingertips alike. So with this here, it's more so you're going to see a lot of similarities, this, that, and the other thing. But at the same time, try to cast those out and just accept it for what the game it as it is, too. Because it's definitely a game that deserves all the merits. Now, would I go as far to say this is a Souls beater or it's the Supreme one? It's subjective. It's always subjective. It's not going to be the best out of the series or the series of games you probably played before, but at the same time, it handles its own style fine. It's kind of its own, own style, and it does the right things. Uh, but at the same time, it's not going to beat anything. It's just it's its own style game where it can be subjective whether you like what it does or not. I felt good. I just cracked my hand. All right. So let's go to here and actually get to this screen and start playing some of this. It's a crazy, crazy game. This is a scene transition, man. By the way, that wasn't too loud this time, was it? Yep. You can pet the cat and everything from the uh, vendor.
We could try it out. Like, I'll see if they... Because, again, I haven't played this in a while besides testing it prior. So we'll see what happens here. Pop up here in a second. All right, see. Interest. There we go. For some strange reason, I did not grab the window at first. I kept trying to grab DOS. It was very bizarre. Okay. There it goes. That was so weird. Like, I had to keep refreshing that. I was testing it earlier today, and it was grabbing it every time, but that's weird. Oh, well. All good. All right, so it should, for the most part. to go. So again, the virtuous cycle there, as you can see, that's the said... That right there is the said roguelike. So what we're going to do is not do that by mistake. <laughs> but yeah, they did a couple patches here from the game since it came out on GOG here, and it's been really, really, really nice little improvements. Fran, how you doing? Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Like the load-ins are much more snappier. Okay, but we're not trying to do that there. We go back to the menu. That was my other save. I was trying to see if I can toggle something, but it didn't work. Yeah. I'm going to do a fresh, fresh save. It's, even though I'm not really a big fan of the intro part here in this game. Like, it's not my least favorite. There we go. That's part two. Is it quite loud? Alright, I can turn it down. Easy. Fast. Is that better? Okay. Cool, cool. How you doing, sweetie? Enjoy that good lurk. Uh, so... As you can see right here, you look, kind of look like the dude here from Prometheus. But it's like a really awesome game. Like, the way the game is set up is you're playing as this husk here. As I call him a husk, even though it's not necessarily a husk. And Harden, which I call... I just call it Stone Skin. Go. 
you pretty much just do all that, which I did left the trigger there. By the way, how's the game coming through? Is there any stutter for everybody or no? Harden is the most essential thing in this game. Well, that happened. The game crashed. That's weird. Like, literally just now, the game just crashed. At that part. Like, this happened to be before, but I played it a couple more times to get past it, and it didn't do that. That's, that's weird. I'll write a ticket about that. Yeah, I thought they fixed that part. But alright, let's get right back into it and keep going. Because it's still pet, you can still get past that part. It's just you have to, if it does it once to you, just, I mean, again, good practice, I suppose, to get past. <laughs> um, all right, same slots two, continue. So I think next time, if I plan to do a series for this or something, I'll literally make sure I save past that point just to kind of do it off stream. So if it does do something like that, you can see what happens here. It doesn't save your progress from doing this part. Did do it all over again, so hopefully it doesn't do what it did before. Okay, dismiss. Go. We run strats. me grabbing that one already. Zellhandra. Yeah, it's a pretty cool looking sword for sure. It's like only in this part is when it does all this. That's so weird. Yep. All right. That's a guess. It's a good thing I had that backup save, though. I have to play from where I played it from.
big deal. It just that one particular part is when the game starts acting up. And it's just a tutorial bit anyway, so it's like, you know, if you miss it, seeing it, you know, it's not a big, big giant thing there. All right, let's go to my first save here, which again, I wasn't really doing too much on this anyway. And I'll catch you all up to speed what I was doing here. I actually have a, I was recording or test playing this before, and I actually recorded something with me and the boss, which I thought was quite comical, and I'll edit it, put it together, put it up on YouTube afterwards. But this is, I ended up grabbing this great sword here. As well as Solomon, which is a different uh, said uh, shell you can get in the game. But basically what you do in this game here is you can collect all sorts of different things. Like you can collect that. And the more you use those, these said items here, the more you can actually get familiar with them and the more better you understand them. The whole premise of this game is about learning about different things in the game. So you're going to see something like this for the hollowed sword, for example. Now, whenever you get a particular weapon from one of these dungeons or whatnot, you access it through this book, and then you can go and visit the monster or the uh, herod in there, which I was just fighting in the tutorial. You fight him, and you get a weapon, like this big-ass sword here. I'm a husk of a person. It is very similar to being undead, yeah. Like, you're basically... I'm leaving this area because I'm nowhere near adequate to fight through it. So I'm going to leave and rush all the way back to the beginning area. But, however, I was just trying to shortcut getting my sword early because I knew how to fight the boss very well. So I did that. I could sort of... Like, I didn't have no oomph behind my character, so... It was more so just be kind of just rushing through like, oh yeah, I'll just, I'll run through here and do my, my soul style where I just dash through everything. Okay, I think this is the uh, entry. Nope. This way. There's no maps or anything, so you get to kind of guess. Oh. And double tap to be there. Find through here. Yep, quite a bit of enemies. They require you to kind of shift through them. And avoid those guys right there. The guy was just chewing the stuff. Those guys suck. Just <laughs> don't go after them right away. Unless you feel confident, but I don't, so that's why I'm kind of like, yeah, no. That's why you snow to be kind of rushing past them, because I know I can't fight them right now. There's like, trial and error in this game is very important. And it's sort of like, people go, oh, I just want to smash things. Yes, you can in this game, but I wouldn't recommend it too early. Because they will fudge you up. Kind of like that. You see, whenever I use that welt cap, it's actually allowed me to learn it. And it's very important in this game. The more I learn it, as you can see, I'm more... The effect of how you doing, Jake? Welcome to the Dear and Family. The more it becomes more effective to me. So it doubles up on the regen effect of the mushroom. See, he learned his lesson. Um, yeah, like the thing about this game, which is kind of a, like for me, I'm not too big on it, but at the same time, kind of like, eh, is how the weapons are handled in this game, and I'll show you up here in the, uh, campment.
big chungus is hanging out in that cave there. I'm not gonna mess with that. I'll show you that in a second too. We reset the dungeon if I get to the this. area. So basically with the leveling system in this game is you learn different things here with glimpses and as well as souls or in this case I just call them tar. They're actually tar in this game but you collect them with or rather you can fill up like obligations here which is for these uh, bits and pieces of the actual character you're trying to learn about which is Solomon the Scholar. Now you could you do this with about I think it's let me see, there's Solomon, two, I think five total of these guys here now. And each of them have a little story. And the more you play the game, the more of the story you actually learn. So there's, you learn more about each one of the characters. And this is just from leveling up and doing as you do. And so you have the original OG character you start off with here as well, which I haven't updated yet. But then you also have this one here as well. This gives you a clue where he's hiding at, or this guy's uh, shell is at. So you'd go deep to find him. And then him, he's... Because I'll actually remember. Okay, what was that again? Okay, Graves. I one of the caves. Okay. And so you can basically go on a little hunt and find him, which is the... I would say he's a trickster of the group. Or more of the quicker guy. Like, he has the most stamina, I think, in the game for this. <laughs> I love doing it. Whee! And then you pick up... What is that? Nothing. Oh, um... Those thingies there. Keep forgetting their name. Keep beginning to do the uh, thingy here. Hold on. Which the stone shell, which is uh, or the stone skin, I call it. It's the most useful thing in the game. It's like very essential to pop. There you go. We are maxed out of familiarity with that. So you can see right here. Now we got a. Walk in your trap. <laughs> Sorry, I get excited about that. You can see how brutal the weapons handled in this game as well, but if you're not a big fan of like big weapons like this, you could still use the default weapon as well, the default sword. It still works pretty darn good. Just sort of like a practice like if you don't like big old weapons like this I say yes stick to something that's a little bit more quicker so I'm getting my brain readjusted to doing that I think I play different games and so my brain's like oh yeah I, and I remember oh yeah I got the stone skin and it's always too late it's like oh 
Hey, we can explain. I think it was this way. Okay, no, no, this goes back to the other place. I don't want to go there yet. Looking for the tombstones, which is around here. Oh, shoot! Daddy, what's up? What? Oh, I didn't do nothing wrong. thing about this as well, you have a second, uh, a second chancery. That poison, I gotta wait for it to kind of wear off, though. Serves me right. You're awake, good. Please take this mask. It's not unlike my own. It reveals the way of all flesh. Beyond life and death. Where spirits pass across the threshold. But your spirit is bound here. Unwilling to go on. Perhaps it has an obligation left to fulfill. Okay, we still keep the glimpses, but I'm gonna hold on to those glimpses, obviously, because I need those for Bubba. Speak with uh, twin sister. Wait, wait, who the heck is she? No, I don't want to enter the room. I don't know what the heck that is. So you can equip that hollowed sword. Let me see if I can... Mechanical spike. Okay, where the heck was that?
piece of the maze, I believe. Oh, lava place, okay. Pick and chisel right over there, by the way. That thing is good. By the way, for all those who wanted to see the kitty cat. Is there a kitty cat skin? Bobbing its head. <laughs> it's so cute. Ironically, his hand placement's pretty darn accurate. The way they have it animated, it's really good. Revere does. Probably going to regret this because I haven't really leveled up at all with this character, with uh, Solomon here. What? You're alive, brother. Of course you are. We can't be killed easily, you and I. But I did begin to wonder. It had been so long while you slept. I thought you might never wake. Tell me, are we still linked? Good. I've missed you. Oh. There's so much I wish to see. You will take me with you. In here. <laughs> All right. That's pretty cool. First cycle. Uh, the first cycle just started. Seek sacred glands deep within the temples of devout. The entrance temples are blocked by a yellow token. There are many pillars scattered throughout the uh, use the free tree use, but we're upon death. New cycle will begin. Okay, so this is the roguelike. Double confirming, making sure.
That crossbow is just freaking huge. Ha-ha! <laughs> I got screwed. I'll have to play out or play out with that more later. Yeah, the hammer and chisel are just OP. Like, they're one of the strongest weapons in the game because they're freaking fast they attack and how much damage they actually do. I brought you back, brother. It's for your own good. We are not entirely impenetrable. Even the hardest stone can be weathered. And, well, I rather like having you around. Who else am I to talk to? Okay, okay that's pretty cool. Okay. Unlock additional instruments. Hold on. Go Galaxy decides it wants to pop up now. That. Okay, so you talk to this and you can leave. Pretty cool overall. Like, it does add a, a, a ton of extra replayability, especially when there's something to add more content in over time. So, really cool. Um, Alright, so next. Tusk, I want to actually get it's him, which is somewhere. I gotta go grab him. We'll touch this real quick. Okay, and his perch. I'll go near that frog over there, whatever I do.
not there. I think it was here. Yeah. I think it was there. Okay, I think this is the entrance. The entrance. Hydro and Wolf Sight, welcome on in. Okay, that gives you a glimpse of where you need to head. I'm just kind of collecting those. Alright. So it pretty much tells you, hey, go up there. That's pretty much what that tells you. Okay. Yeah. Alright, I gotta clear these guys out. I could just run by. Technically, I could. memory, so I don't remember. There he is. When in doubt, run it out. Time to become Big Papa. Unfortunately, though, with the glimpses, if you use those on a different shell, you can't use them rather on him. But he's pretty much the most tankiest thing in the universe. Doesn't have a lot of stamina, but boy, does he make up for it in different ways. Big hole. And those amphigies there, those are used to, if you want to toggle between the, the uh, shells. Yeah, I think it's through here. Oh. 
big pop up. Is he can take the hits too, which is I don't like to uh, let the pop back up. Ow! <laughs> Oops! All right. His thing respawns often too, which makes him a powerhouse tank. Yep. Oh no! I'm stuck. I think. There we Got a window here. You can see that thing at the bottom left of the screen there it keeps constantly toggling or keeps flickering. That's the uh, stone skin effect. So when I go like this, you can block all incoming. Your party, be you can. Uh, the dust got me. Um, you can block all incoming damage with one shot, and then you can have re, re, uh, readjust and all that stuff. How you doing there, Mr. Trout? Spam, spam! Oh, shoot! Oh! This is what happened to King Arthur, hey! <laughs> oh! 
Oh, crap. Second favorite next is Solomon. Solomon, I just really enjoy using. Like he's great if you're just a tank, if you're like just like being a beefy old tank, but you gotta obviously find him first. But what you do, it's like you're just like drooling. You can kind of just run past everything here. Just watch out for this, this ugly group. I think I know where I'm at. There we go, cheese it, and run for it. Russia there will not follow you. Sip this. Okay, divine tar. It gives you a cool little story for each character. Elvet made promises of an end to war and human suffering. Promises all were desperate to hear, myself not least, for I'd seen my share of tragedy. I scratched my name in their book, swearing myself to the deathless doctrine. My armor clattered on the ice as I knelt before them and asked myself if I would ever be worthy. Yeah, like the stories for each one of these characters are really cool. Like once you start unlocking it, like Eldrum or Eldrum, Eldrum, tongue tied, Eredrum. There we go. I never say his name correctly, ever. Like, it, it, I'll say it once, right, and a hundred million times out of the last. But thank you, Butthurt Gamer. I'm sorry for that late reply there. Go back to Scholar. Yes. Taste the truth. Taste the truth. So we can unlock two of these when talk Solomon releases the segment of resolve. Chance to heal upon using a weapon ability to slay an enemy, which that's one of the things I like about him. Though you hide behind that mask, I know you far better than I ever knew him. You've shown me a second path. Do you hear that? Hope is a funny thing you've kindled in me. A little yarn we spin, but perhaps it may yet come true. But yep, uh, basically with this ability here is Solomon has a chance to heal upon using an ability to slay an enemy, which is freaking awesome. Like, I'll just put it that much. Duration time remains hardened when you're separated from the Solomon is increased. So again, it's like a great survivability uh, shell. And again, as you learn more and more, or rather more and more of these uh, you unlock, the stronger your character becomes, more little combos you get, like the kick here, for example, the recollection of strength, is overpowered. Ridiculously overpowered. Switch back to this real quick. Go. 
be use this for a little while. Shall we engage in some rousing commerce? Yes. I'll gladly accept any tar as payment. Okay, I need to buy some of that from him. that from him. Yep, I'll be uh, saving up for that and that. Okay, I also gotta grab that, it looks like. Alright, so I got a lot of farming to do. How the heck did he get past that? Nervous. Who got a glimpse? Riding the slam is so good. I just use this sword to level up or grab and collect a uh, tar and. I guess it adds a, I mean, uh, part of the fun here, it's like they, it gets, they're, they're trying to make it an, an eminence thing of like beating the tar out of them. It's kind of like, oh. Uh, uh. Traps there.
That's what I get for bumping into a freaking thingy. There we go. The game's about to crash again. Yep, it crashed. It's been doing that recently as well, unfortunately. Like, it will be playing for a while, and then it will crash. And at first, I thought it was just my computer doing it, but it was just the game itself doing it. But it still plays fine. It's just it, every once in a while, it just go boop. Um, not as often. Like, it will, it just happens randomly when something happens in the game. Like, a, like if a group, like an enemy does something, it just will trigger and be like, it'll get all freezy and it'll just start crashing. And at first, I just thought my computer was terrible. So I was like, oh, my computer sucks then. I was, <laughs> so I was like, okay, I can't play this. Um, And so I was like, looking at it. I was like, wait, what's happening? And I looked again. And it was like, it wasn't even my computer doing it. It was just the game doing it. And I was like. Because people, I guess, with better, like, three, was it 360s or whatever, or 3060s were running this game, and they're having the same issue. So I was like, okay, it ain't my computer. Whew. But it's just a, it just happens. Like, oh, crap. Sorry, lady. Sip this. Sorry, lady, I didn't mean to swing at you. If you laughed, that means you liked it. That's not a good thing. And I mean, again, this game can easily just be patched and the issue will be resolved, so it's not a huge deal. So if it doesn't, I just keep blowing it back up. I'm Braxton. I'll be doing very well, sir. Take some allergy medicine after my nostrils is like feels like sinuses are back in it. Brain kept thinking I was uh, other dude. It does it again in this particular in this particular camp. Yeah, in that particular camp is when it does it. 
All right, so that's a spot I can't go near, apparently. If I go and do that area particularly, that little spot, will crash. I gotta write down where exactly that camp is and just uh Okay, was it five hundred? Don't overindulge. Gold me. Okay. I need a K of that. Okay. Then we have the original here, which is... I can never, I can never remember this guy's name. Like, hold on, we'll do it this Sip way. this, and you'll see. The brigands pointed us Arrows. towards the temple. Shunned by the devout, their allegiances lie to those who are fatah, or spirits. They entertain themselves with drunken antics or violent cruelties. They know better than to attack us. But they followed us at a distance, hoping for scraps. All right. Him as well, he's pretty much the, the jack of all trades, the master of none. Like, he can basically, he's like a great survivability one as well when you're starting off in the game. So if you're unsure what the other shells do and you're kind of like, eh, he's basically great because then you got the chance to restore some health with a, a glimpse gain, which you get from killing enemies periodically. And then killing two enemies in a quick session reset your heart and cooldown. So again, it, it's he's a great versatile um, shell to play with. But first, I, again, I just like using Solomon. Because he's a little bit more HP, but at the same time, he has just about enough stamina to go through. Hold on, let me read the uh, chat real quick. Um, uh, is there a stealth uh, shell? I believe there is. What's his name? Uh, the rogue one. I have, he basically is... He's stealth per se, but then he's also fast. Thank you. Um, sorry, my allergies are just killing me here. Which literally, I'm have to take an allergy de thing downstairs, unfortunately, and just fight through the sleepiness. Yeah, surge is really excellent on that, but no worries, no worries at all, Abraxan. Uh, but yeah, like the nearest thing to a stealthy kind of character is him. Or them in particular, like 
Uh, they... Uh, we have to get to him, of course. I'm trying to remember where the heck he is. Ido and Sink, welcome on in. Yeah, like the surge, it's it's bait. Like one and two were like my like I thought were great. Like the second game, I liked a little bit more because it had like that born style of combat. I liked a little bit more, like the quickness, and that's what I really love in these kind of souls games, like the, the quick fighting. And also that, the customization of the game is pretty cool too, or the, way, the ability to kind of go through and um, be able to take apart everything and kind of build it. And, like the way they did it in 2 was a more refined version of 1's and it was really cool. A lot more to collect too, it was like a lot more. Yeah, the first game is certainly, like, it's a great blend of, like, survive it. Yeah, I can pretty much in the play smart now. Right? I'm getting 22 souls per head, it looks like. Yeah, Surge is great. Like, it's... Let's go over here. Get that reset it. Um, I remember where the, the graveyard is at. Afraid to go over on top of that uh, area too because it was crashing again. We'll try through here. Okay, there it is. All right, now I know where we're going. Okay, so then we go through here. It's like through here. Through here. Grab that stealthy guy I was thought you were kind of asking about. Persuadily, of course. Um, there it is. I had to think real hard. I was like, where the hell is he? And I was like, oh, he's right in here. Gotta watch out for this, this uh, scavenger dude. But the uh, stealthy one, or stealthy-ish one, is sitting right here. even more cheap. That was like the Clarence track cheap. Look this.
Okay. There we go. <laughs> She's the uh, fight. But they're playing biters, though. He's he was chopping my leg. Do not bite that one, whatever I do. So I'm trying to be very careful in that fight because at the same time it's really hard with him. I think I have to play play just the hard way that Hard way with this one is to basically run up and go around and then go and grab the um, big sword there and fight that guy again because the big sword I can just smack him off. Thank you. 
here, so go here. And just simply regroup. Sip this. Uh, mushrooms and like grill fill in the blank here. Okay, I have to get that acid. How much was the acid again? That been something. This weapon definitely needs an acid bath. Well, shall we? I'll gladly accept any tar as payment. Oh, it's quite a bit, though. <laughs> Like, uh, this increases stamina, for example. The whale frog, again, stamina regeneration. That's, I think it's the same thing with the boiled rat, or the, uh, roasted rat. Let me try out here real quick. I'll double down on that if I'm just talking out of my butt cheeks or not. Um. Oh, okay, that was regeneration. Cool. Okay, it was the rat was regeneration, and then frog was stamina, which makes sense. Well, Chuck, surely there's something you'll fancy amongst my collection. There we go. Now we got the rat, which hopefully should help us in this fight. Overall, our problem was that we were able, not able to survive long enough. daddy right now. Okay, so we go down here. Not there, but here. Go to the graves. Take a left. Okay. Again, I think it was a big sword is how I was able to kind of get him. But yeah, uh, just gonna buy a bunch of those rodents there I bought. Okay, yeah, he reset it completely. Hopefully, we can bop him around. If I'm not mistaken. We have plenty of those rats for now. Though. this.
I'm the papa. There we go. Help. I guess. You get a lot of stamina back, as you can see. How you doing, Nexa? I mean, that's the most obvious thing, but thank you for that tip that I did not need. No backseating, buddy. Also, by the way, if you at Dog calm, I won't see that. <laughs> like, I would have to look at the chat and it won't ping me, basically. Exactly, there you go. Ultimate tip right there. <laughs> Which I love that tip quite a bit. So next round, I have another tip for you. You can get this game DRM free as well. It's on sale for 10% off on dog.com. You actually support game. Exactly. It's like, I mean, I, granted, I already kind of knew about that, but it was kind of like if somebody else didn't, you kind of spoiled that room that for them as opposed to myself. Yep, this guy right here is the rogue type. He's technically stealthy, but he, at the same time, he's more fast. If you love fast characters, you pretty much replace him. He looks awesome, too. Look at that. The coolest shell definitely in the game, like aesthetically, is him. Or they. I think 
Baba de Asami, I'm not sure. But he kind of, he, Senpai kind of notices me down there. You are spicy. <laughs> That's fine, spice is good. I'd say it this way, if life, if life did not have spice, everything would be boring. say this much too it's like if we'd have no spice in life or no spice in general we would not have delicious things like curry and tacos both of those are amazing so technically curry isn't technically spicy it just has a lot of flavor you can eat it spicy and everything it's like a licorice kind of taste to it Like Indian cuisine is the most complicated stuff I've ever ate in my life because it's like so much layers of flavor. Like at first people go, oh, it's spicy, but then it's like that's only a part, like a little small little fragment of the whole thing. Okay, I see where we're coming. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Be like, <laughs> people be like, oh man, this cell is a little too much. And then one, then one day you try some like uh, cumin or something like that. Celery and peanut butter. That's the snack of champions. I like carrot sticks too, like... Me here at the high ground. I'm over here trying to fight it. Oh, that's mean. That is so cool. Okay, we got it. Cool. I was scared. I was like, I want this stuff. Peanut butter and salary cross his arms. <laughs> I like it personally with blue ranch. Or blue ranch. Wow, brain fart. Uh, blue cheese as well. Like, if you were just to give me a platter of celery and calorie sticks and all that, I'd like them just by themselves. But when you get like that blue cheese or that ranch dressing or something in there, oh, that's it for me. I already decided my, my uh, fate. Hummus dip's good too. I just like hummus. Like. Don't overindulge. 
Beatty, don't tell me to live my life. Um... Okay, we're going to have to go with... That one's pretty good, too. That's a tough choice. Let me tell you about apple slices. That's a green apple, so. I do have to power up this weapon a little bit, too. I feel like the ultimate edge lord of this sword right now. Like, this thing is just huge. That's the thing too. Celery is like great with so many different things. Like you can make an excellent soup with it. Like it's a great additive next to like an onion and uh, specifically with. Uh, let's see if this guy attacks with his darn frogs. Again. Oh no, wrong area. What am I saying? Unlock those. I was like thinking in my head, I was like, well, how did I go unlock those again? I don't remember. The list of Zuka, that thing is just awesome. <laughs> I remember that one very well. That's why I, that's why I want the uh, tools. Okay, I'm just okay, can I grab the tools now? If I can grab those, I'll just grab the tools right now and get the Zooka. Welcome back, my splendid friend. Shall yeah. we engage in some rousing commerce? Surely there's something you'll fancy amongst my collection. I don't know why, but this uh, Valis here reminds me of freaking uh, Curry's voice acting there for... Okay, where the heck was the tools? Oh, the tools are 8,000. Okay, looks like I'm not getting that anytime soon. I couldn't remember what they cost. I was like, oh, I'll be go get that. And I... Look again, I'm like, oh, never mind. <laughs> What's he doing? Pardon.
Definitely a jade. Gonna make him practice it fully. Make it do the thing. But the uh, the uh, hammer and pick. Oh my god, there's just instruments all over the place. <laughs> it's like a freaking bard battle royal just happened over there. <laughs> battle the band, so. Very tricky uh, art to do. If you screw that up, you're dead.
What? I'm trying to play with you guys. What? I'm sorry. This is like... Was this a Jimmy Buffett concert? You all gotta go drinking after? Or what? Like, pardon me. How you doing, Dada? Absolutely. Like, it's a pretty solid game overall. If you enjoyed Souls-like titles in the past, or you just want to kind of dip into it. It's a great entry into that type of realm of things. At the same time, and on its own merits, it's a pretty outstanding game. If you actually reach point game, you can check it out that way as well, and check it out. Empty your wish list, or just do as you do. We're gonna try to get these guys that come over here. Cocky. Back to my body there and reclaim my husk. I've kept your flesh safe. Bound me. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not good. Never get the parry right. Okay, where the heck was I heading? I'm not going over there again. Definitely worth a purchase and admission. Has an awesome free DLC deck he's getting included as well. Freaking frogs up! Uh. I 
I can give him the tag this guy here and I won't love him. Hammer Bros over here. Doing Frankish. Oh, come on in. Got new loot. Okay, it's locked up. I'm gonna lock that after. But we get a new loot here. is life. That's a beautiful sound. Yep. A little bit more trickier, though. At least for myself, anyway. You would have to use the left bumper as you do, like that. And if you do, you actually get some life back. But at the same time, I'm not very good at it, so I just try to dodge everything. If I can. Look, I'll try it with him, but I'm not very good at it. Also, another you have two parry systems. You have the stone skin, and then you also have the That was dirty. That was so dirty. Uh... I've kept your flesh sweet, Balmy.
And then it crashes again. Ah. And the game crashes just like that. There you go. Yeah, this one's defense style is kind of interesting too. Like you turn it, you get stone skin, and then you have the the uh, chunk, the uh, what do they call them? Encrums there that you can use, and you can get life back. With them. enemies or you get enough damage out. See, and the thing about it too, it's really tricky to cast this one. See? Like, that's why I don't ever use it. Because I just don't like using that one. Like, if you can do it correctly, you get... You know, you get your... That's why I just stick to the stone skin and dodging. Like this, and then you can do a charge. And then you can do a, a mid-swing as well while doing that. So you're just better off using the uh, stone skin if you're just not adept with the uh, symbol. Um, there is different styles. Like, you, for each weapon you use, there's like, um, for example, the hammer and chisel, use that one, and they, you know, you're much quicker. Whereas the sword I'm using at the moment is just like heavy smack, heavy smack, heavy smack. Yeah. That's why I just go with that one. It's easier to cast. Because if you just do a mid-swing, turn to it instantaneously, enemy whacks you, they get staggered, and then you still also get your extra shot in as well. So it's a really nice little uh, defensive tool. Um, using the chakram there, that one is also good too. I'm not discrediting that one whatsoever. Like, it is definitely really good. But then at the same time, you got to be like on the hair act like blocking and everything. So you got to kind of do it the timing perfectly, which I don't have the patience for. It. Yes. As if you knew what I would find among the multitudes. But if that were true, why bother with such a useless gesture? 
Is it our nature to bemoan the unchanging course of fate? All right, so I need over a K hundred for the foresight. Yeah, you have to like wait for an enemy to hit down exactly and before doing it. I just don't bother looking at that. I just go the hell with this and I just hit him. Like I have hardcore ADHD and it's like, yeah, no, I'm I'm just gonna Time for this. Do that. You can see right here, he moves a lot more quicker. He's kind of like that Jack of all trains, master of none. Bumper for no reason. You see how he hits a lot quicker with this? Yeah, because again, I can't really sit here and go like that because I have no, I have no particular skill towards doing that. Like my brain does not want to learn the timing either. It goes, yeah, no, I just want to smash things in the head with this big old weapon. And I can dodge good, so I'll just do that. <laughs> Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I tapped it. Uh, this game's a jerk. Alright. Because <laughs> I literally saw the icon and I just tapped it within that little that little nanosecond. It didn't count, though. It was like, nope, nope. We ain't gonna let it slide. Like, one of those empires, they look at the person sliding in the home, they see they clearly did it like a second before the person tapped I've them. Kept your flesh safe.
see that little parry there, how useful it is? Are you able to kind of just pause your mid swing, let them get that little tap in, but then when that that uh, stone sin cancels, you can go psych. Oh, I'm going towards uh, Mr. Pinky Tank. Already got him. Oh, come on, man. I fed you. Sorry. I didn't mean to set you up like that. It was my mate's idea. Honest. No hard feelings, right? Oh, you're not him. Not exactly. Uh, if you find any of my mates, maybe you could try them on too. It ain't easy sitting here all day, you know. It ain't easy sitting here all day, you know. Hey, right, mister.
Yeah, you do not want to do that one, by the way. Strange altar. If you want to, it's up to you, but for me, no. that roasted rat. So I think I want to go this way. I think. Actually, we have quite a bit of that. chunky bit of go uh stuffs. Go, let's deal with this dungeon. Kind of a pain in the butt. You can run through it technically. But it's 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 a little bit brutal. Sip this. was not burdened with delusions, but truth. Yet the wary ear corrupts honest words into lies. I took him for a spy and cut him down. How else could he know so much about me? He had condemned himself with each utterance. I can only 
find some of that acid. That is so trolling. <laughs> There we go. First martyr gave either blood or body. No, he gave up much more to preserve our faith. He gave his living memory all that he knew. All that glimpse sealed in ice it is thaws that opens your mouth and burns your heart. Receive this gift. Remember what came before. Like, you cheated! doom. Boss is just rough. Yes, that's something that corner there.
Yeah, this fight is just rough. You have to be quick and it's... in the run. I've kept your flesh safe, family. Okay, let's try the ice trick here. Mushroom. Then he eh, got a little bit off of him now. Now, if I had a range attack right now, this would be a little bit easier.
because that's doing ice attacks after a while. I think he's the one that does the ice attacks. Yep, those ice, I've seen it now. I stopped rolling. I should have just kept rolling. I was trying to move forward. That was a horrible idea. I've kept your flesh safe. I ran through here, but now which is actually pretty good a better chance there you go kind of like that all that focus on yep uh, very similar to that trial and error um, like basically, it's like that typical classic old school style of gameplay where if you're dealing with a boss's pattern, you learn it. Then you become more attuned to fighting it, and eventually it's easy. Uh, again, it's like a classic format. Like a lot of people act like Souls invented that, but it really didn't. Like, again, every NES game, every PC game you probably could think of, had every boss roughly has a pattern. And, you just, and it's that kind of thing. And so people feel like that's cheap because Souls reapplies what older games did. Whereas this boss has a pattern. You just kind of run around, you spank it a little bit, you run around, you spank it a little bit. Yeah, 
it kind of looks like it a little bit. Is this boss easy yet? He is. <laughs> Like, my mistake was coming into the fight, forgetting to buy the, uh, foods and everything, like the rat kebabs there. So if you have a lot of food on your hand, you just keep tackling them, and if he hits you too hard, you just kind of run away for a minute and eat a bunch of food and then rush back up on him again. Because after a while, he starts throwing, like I said, your, uh, ass, and it's painful. So this, these pillars are awesome because you can kind of get that breather for a second. Okay, get plenty of room to kind of back up, get your stamina back, rush back in, smack the boss. And that's not so much a tank and spank, but just more of like a spank and run. Okay, looks like we have everything up. Quickly rush in. Okay, back up. Get a little more frisky. Yep, there goes that ice I was telling you about. So he'll do these slams, which will cause more ice to come to come down. I just hope he doesn't proc that. Because he will, and it'll hurt. That's if he hits you with it. If not, just run. Get your leg day in. gentle to us. Because he does a little attack and he just does like an arena light nice show over there. Okay, we can run for it. Okay, I couldn't tell if he was sparking that ice crap again, so I'm just going to keep running for it. Press R3 and it will somehow make up more ice. Just run for it. Look where the animations are dropping and kind of take a guesstimate where it's going to fall next and avoid that area or whatever. Now he's going to play more aggressively, it looks. I have to double down on the eating. It's just going to get more angry. Crackling in the air, just run for it. Don't even try to fight the boss, because then it'll always spark near him. Good shot, run for it. Use this uh, stone skin to your advantage. Take a 
breather for a second. Locked on light. You're good. It's kind of grumpy. Man, I would be too if I had a cage on my head. I'm gonna try to turn around and smack him. I'm just gonna run for it. He's playing it more cautiously than an aggressive. Oh. Like I'm trying not to do when I just did. He's coming for this bug. Been dummy over there and just try using the poison, but that's not a good idea. <laughs> if I have no food to back it up, I, I might as well just lay down and let it beat up on me. Shot. I'm not sure if he hit me. Okay, I still got a charge. I thought I wasn't. I couldn't remember if I. Um, had a get back up charge there. Run for it. Put my stone skin charge up as it already did. Okay, he keeps charging now, so that's a good thing. It means now he's gonna stop doing that ice crap for a second. Very long drawn out fight because I don't have enough stats, obviously. There's opportunities to attack him, surely, but really your best game here, if you're having low stuff for your character, is to kind of just let him kite around a bit. Play smart, not... Okay, got the ice. Just run for it. Just don't even bother fighting them. They'll be like, oh, yeah, I got I got a shot. No, just run. Oh, just unlock from tap the R3, get the hell out of there. chance in it. I mean, I could still technically finish him off, but he's got to make sure he isn't guarding my body. Oh, he 
that. That should be fine, but... Got him. France and the weapon I was using was good enough. You killed the Grisha. Many died dragging that beast down here. He served as a slave, a guardian, that they would worship unfettered, enshrined in ice. Can you blame them? The perversity of living has always been its ever changing nature. So, then, would you like another sip? Just like awkward now, she's like, well, ah. Uh. Silent, the newborn crawled from the Earth's viscera. A gaunt, sallow-skinned creature, not entirely inhuman. Its hands grasped uselessly at her deflated form. Her limbs writhed and coiled around it. Perhaps an embrace. Maybe. Ice bros down here, and watch out for him. Oh, my sweet God! <laughs> oh, Ice Bro ain't messing around. Okay, we have to rethink our stuff. Ice Bro is not messing around. Like, he was like, mm mm. What's that you got there? Is that a is that an attack? What today, baby? See. And I was trying to cheese it. Fine. Got some glimpse of wisdom, though.
So I feel like wisdom is not on my side in this situation. Take like a glimpse of no wisdom here. like this is beginning sip this and you'll sip take a sip <laughs> we'll take a sip and get the heck away from all that crap I need to upgrade this weapon further. Let's backtrack out of here. Fighters. I went in the wrong freaking direction. Of course you did. you says
Yeah, it's effectively one of the bo first bosses, at least one of the optional bosses in this game. Actually, he isn't really optional. He's an actual boss. About nonsense, don't let me. Do the recollection of strength. Oh no, I could do this as well. Hmm, that one's really good too. I think I meant with that guy's new decks, but there it is. There we go. <coughs> Pardon me. Extreme knowledge. I see it's only his face and his form stretched across your frame. Of course, your silence gives it away. He always had too much to say, babbling on and on, incessantly. His words wound into such impossible, staggering formations, often contradicting himself. Beautifully. I do miss him. Oh. Unfortunately, my dear brother, spent too much time beneath those infinite golems. He promised to turn tar into true nectar, and he succeeded. I witnessed the world burst from the fires of heaven. I watched as it decayed into this wretched place. Such a gift. But when the vision ended, he stared at me with revulsion. Hey, doing bit, old man? Welcome on in.
game crashed. Uh, actually, with this version of the game, it doesn't necessarily do Twitch drops, unfortunately. This is a scene transition, man. At least from myself accessing this channel. At least not yet. Let me look. They, they see it. Maybe they changed it or something. So I'm going to switch to this screen real quick. Just in case there's any sensitive material popping up. Hold on. Because again, we're playing the GOGCOM version of the game. So not sure if it got implemented yet. Let me look. Let me see. Yep, unfortunately, because we're not playing on, you know, Xbox or PS4 or Steam or Epic Games, uh, GOG does not have a connection to this. Because it, unfortunately that connects DRM and that's what Gog's trying to kind of step away from, so it's... This is a scene transition, man. It's the uh, same premise here. I mean, and it's sort of like you. No worries, no worries. Uh, sorry about that. Does it decay? So, but when the vision ended, he stared at me with revulsion. Okay, where the heck is this one at? Oh, there, uh... I'm not such a huge fan of that place. The place I have to go to get the, uh, hammer and chisel is not a fun place to visit. But the heck were they? Just bought a bunch of them. Oh, there they are. Couldn't see him. I was like, what happened?
Right on G Pudding, welcome on in. Um, it's like uh, Duck Souls. Yep, yep. It has a couple differences between that and Dark Souls. Like it has like a hardening system, so you can get, or I call it Stone Skin, but effectively you can become chiseled like that for a second. And what happens when you block? you absorb about a damage. Um, the cool thing about it is that if you do mid-swing like this, you can pause your swing, and if an enemy hits you, you unbreak that, and you still swing and do the damage. So it's like a nice little parrying system. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty darn vicious. That's right. Here for a second. Oh. There's a shot right there, but at the same time, I'm still playing safe. That way my hair character's head went like this real fast. It was like, oh! Getting the bell rung. It was a love tap. Wait, what did I pick up? Yeah, what did I... Wait, what did I pick up from it? Get this. Was it more glimpses? Here. <laughs> 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 
That was kind of funny. Here. I Back up a little bit. No snack for me, Welcome on in. Out of that crossbow, Brad. I finally did it right. Alright, so next area... Everyone else, welcome on in. Okay, this guy is screwing me over. Ah. Oh, itchy back of the arm, wrong time. Oh. 
I was trying to scratch my arm with underneath my uh, chest cavity. I was trying to go like this, and it wasn't working. I was like, no. <laughs> that little itch, like, right there. I was trying to get it. I was like, no. You've kept me waiting, Valley. <laughs> Do not worry. Tis only a jest. This path ahead is littered with monuments to suffering. Thought I might lighten the mood. Not that I've ever had much talent for humor. No. I once knew a man who took the sacrament of ashes. He laughed all the time. Now I'm rambling like an old crone. You're here for another sip, aren't you? Okay. Get the uh, brogue kick there. Vision is a burden, my dear brother. I do not blame you for leaving this empire of sycophants and charlatans behind. I fear our knowledge is only a privilege afforded by our silence. Each discovery only provides our masters with more chains. Are you an icon? Yeah, it's definitely gorgeous. Like, beauty is definitely in the eye of beholder with this one. Ooh, that maze looked pimp, though. guys on my butt. Watch our mace though. I was nervous, like, what happened?
splish splash and take a number. out there a little bit. Oh, please don't crash. Worst time to crash. And it crashes. <laughs> it just does that randomly. Oh, it's, I mean, when it comes to reflexes, it's still there. Um, like games like this, it's all about just tapping B and rolling, right? So it's like myself who's getting older in age myself. I'm kind of like, I can see my reflexes slowing down quite a bit. But then it's like I kind of practice something in my head. I'm like, okay, I, I count to three and look at what the guy's doing with his hands. And I go one, two, and at the three, at, just at the three part, I just roll out of the way. And it's all about counting in your head and or just counting out loud. And it just instantaneously keeps your reflexes sharp. It's just like one, two, three, you're already out of the way. Kind of sad at the doos again. <laughs> I got no help. Or no healing items. I still got some of these rats, which is Something's up with the AI, he's like not behaving correctly anymore.
What the hell? Is he doing the thing again? <laughs> He's doing the thing again. Oh no. <laughs> doing that thing again. That's sunset and he's like the hell with this. I'm not gonna complain because it's a free it's a free meal to me, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take what I can. Oh that's that was cheap. That was cheap as me doing what I'm doing right now. AG pudding. Uh, it's kind of. Yeah, he's just kind of hanging out. He was just. <laughs> I'm gonna. If it's gonna be cheesable, I will take the cheese as much as I can. Like I will. I will accept the cheese. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say no to a meal. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this looks delicious. Thank you. Yeah. Don't over She's like, I saw what you did. That was dirty. That was very dirty. You should be ashamed of yourself. Right. Oh, boys, we can talk about this, right? Okay, I love this weapon. Holy crap. Desperado coming after me now. He saw what I did too. He's like, he did not appreciate what I did. Not take this cheese here, sir. This is the kingdom of fairness, and you cheated. <clears throat> Did not. frame that has no computers. That is a nice ma- this is a beautiful weapon. I ain't even that. Don't over indulge. Very meaty, yeah. It's like you get that style to it, which I like. Thank you. 
over there. Oh, I kind of got myself stuck. That's on me. He don't know what the hell to do. He's like, I, I, I've never seen this before. I don't know. I don't even know how to make of this. I'm out! I'm free! I made it! Oh crap! Or tokens in here, I know what to do with. Play all the games. Oh! Oh, got a death metal concert in here. Oh! Dumb you bow gears in here, too. Oh, crap! This Danzig. Oh! How you interact? Cheese we can handle, yes, please. What hell is this? What the hell am I doing? Am I drinking that? Why did I drink that? What the hell is that? Ah. King of Barbecue. Oh, come on. Let's have a little bit of salad.
ballroom blitz. That's right, two men after one man leaves. for chat if I'm not responding. Oh, that pillar just messed me up. First try, ironically. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Never mind. I deserve that. Oh no. <laughs> the freaking pillar screwed me again. Take two hits, run. Oh, wait a minute, I thought about it. Maybe I didn't. That's my own beat. I can't you see Yeah, that's my own fault.
I think it might have been. First form is his, his armor, second one just him. something over there I couldn't tell. I really don't want to swing around to find out. There's something else in there too, but I'm, I'm really not going to go after it. I think those well caps though. like yourself must endure the indignities of the flesh. Such burdens are discarded in these chambers. These disciples are a gruesome sort, but you must admire their conviction. now. This game is like a soliciting act for Skittles and I think they won. Yeah, how woo. He's like, look at them. I, you gotta admire their devotion. Yeah, I, I admire... I, Devotion's awesome, and they're not whipping on my butt over here. Admire them from a distance, thank you. It's not impossible. Can I tell you a secret, family? The body is a taint. I, I, I pray that you do not find This is the enemies. That's why I was skipping her dialogue. She was like, you know, what do I know? And she was, you know.
Yep, we are under an hour away, by the way, because coming up next is some Kilgore Trout, some more Might Magics. World of Zine, or Might Magic Born 5. interesting it takes more damage with the armor on I should have equipped to that frog or ate the frogs there Yeah, this mace is awesome. It's much harder now, too. Because the thing is, like, he gets more defense and more strength, weirdly enough. Because he definitely feeds off a of pain. Guys like pure strength though, that's for sure.
playing it too uh, aggressively. Does that kick too? here. These hits are much harder now. I've kept your flesh safe, thou me. Oh.
east. East the rainbow. Okay, so for this. It's gibberish. Familiar signs and symbols etched by a human hand in my own tongue. Yet they're arranged without any discernible logic. The letters spiral in concentric circles, interspersed with figures that resemble mathematical formulae. It means nothing, I'm certain. But I can't look away. The question is, do I really want to mess with this boss right now? take from this section here is that that hard booster there. Alright, looks like the game's about to crash. Yep, and it crashes. So, I was just checking something real quick, and it... Alright, so what I'm going to do is take a quick break, though, because I do need to use the restroom. But we will return with some more Mortal Shell and see if we can beat this, this chubble up here in the a little fiery arena. If not, I'll just try to backtrack and just wander around the game for the rest of the stream. So, I'll be right back. I promise... This is a scene transition, man. Now that's it.
back. Sorry about that. This is a scene transition, man. Oh. I am exhausted. <laughs> I was downstairs thinking about it. I'm just thinking about going. Dan, man, blam, blam, coyote. Oh, look, I found my little uh, thingy here. So, I'm so, I was downstairs thinking about it. I was looking at, I was looking at my, I was looking at this as I'm filling it up a little bit here. And I'm just, I'm sitting there going, man, this game's going to keep crashing on me, isn't it? Hmm. And it's a, it's a downer because it's like I love the game. And I love, you know, that, that accomplishment of beating the bosses and all that. Stuff. And I, I could take getting my butt kicked by a boss a thousand times, but when the game starts crashing once in a while, it's like, oh. But, I mean, it's all part of the game for now until they can fix it, of course. Game just dropped recently, so it's going to be fixed no problem. Oi. How you doing, Tim? Welcome on in. Sorry about that. Thank you, thank you. Well, basically what's going to happen is this. If the game keeps crashing, if it keeps on crashing, I'll stop playing it. I'll play some Tomb Raider Game of the Year Edition until Call of Stream. Which shouldn't most likely happen between now and then, but if it does, if it crashes again, I'm just going to go the heck with it. I'm going to swap it out the Tomb Raider Game of the Year Edition and just play it to the end of the stream. Because I know that won't crash on me. Um, it's just because, again, it's if it keeps doing that, it doesn't look good on the game, and I don't think that's fair on the game because, again, the game is awesome. Mortal Shell is awesome. Exactly, exactly. So again, if it keeps doing it, if it does it again, I'm just going to be like, judgment call, switch into another game, just going to play that to on the stream. Uh, all right. Go ahead and switch back to this scene. This is a scene transition, man. By the way, is that scene transition too loud or too quiet? Or Because I'm trying to get a good gauge on this. Because again, I have to channel the volume for the transition through my desktop sound and unfortunately when i have to adjust that i also have to adjust that through the game so it's like a mix mash there unfortunately because uh the actual transition goes through obs not through like uh blc or anything because it'd be impossible to do it that way okay yeah, because before it was like booming loud it was like and i felt bad because everyone's like oh crap me ears and i'm like oh no i'm sorry and then uh, so I was trying to find that good level for it, and so far it seems like it's okay, but I'm not too sure. But, alright, let's go ahead here and give this more love. So what I thought about while I was downstairs too is what I can do to try to combat this boss here. And I'm thinking hammer and chisel will probably be the best option, so I'm going to have to run all the way to the area with a chisel. See what goes on from there. I mean, this boss essentially isn't bad or isn't too hard. It's just sort of like, okay, how can I beat him quicker? Like, what would be a quicker way to beat him? And I thought about it. It's like, well, hammer and chisel. It's the most strongest freaking weapon in the game, so let's go with that. But I don't have that yet. I have to go all the way over to uh, the other side of the world. Logic dictates, of course. Oh.
back, Kathy and Jerry. I just chill in the tub, I like it. Like he you raised having the good life. screwed up my mental uh, flow. Usually I'm like constantly counting to one, two, three in my head as I, because if I get quiet, that's the main reason why I'm just like literally counting. Yep, as Moobot has said, in under 34 minutes, Kilgore will be back with some of the awesome playthrough series that he is having currently with Heroes of Not Might and Magic, because I totally screwed up the name. Might and Magic 4 and 5. Sorry, my brain is flustered too because I'm kind of sleepy. Um, there's a little bit of my allergy stuff here to help with my uh, sinus uh, tension heavy kind of stuff. Holy sweet Christmas pie. I'll do you too. I'm going pretty good here. It's mostly like a seasonal tension headache is what's hitting me too, which you'd, you'd think it'd be, oh crap, it'd be, oh crap, I know, uh, you'd think it would be the actual game itself, and it's not, this game itself does not phase me, like, frustratedly, it's just more so, I get agitated when I'm, when seasonal stuff hits me, I'm like, ah, because usually when I'm playing games like this, I'm just quiet, like, in my own passive time, if I'm just kind of relaxed and playing game, I'm quiet for the most part, constantly saying out, uh, saying in my head, okay, what am I doing now? What am I doing this? And... Okay, so this would have been Grilich's, or the Grilich, uh, midsection here. She's taken down, so we're good. This guy's like the craziest tank in the universe here. Like that foresight buff is just so good.
trying to max it out real quick. So again, what the heck's he doing? As you can see over here, making him making my character more familiar to it, so it plays uh, you know perfect notes, and we can toggle between music. Bobbin and said as uh, prescribed. It's like you see this dude with this humongous armor on and just playing a very gentle tune. This weapon is built for him for sure. Good gosh! Like it is very broken with him because he has a he, he regenerates hard and really fast. Oh my god! Broken about him at all. Nope. Guy's the most metalist looking great uh, character in the game too. He just has like that crown and the, the shrouds of armor just placed everywhere. Walking, talking, metal. <laughs> All 
Alright, where the heck are we going? This is the entry, this is where you come in in the game. I do that? I don't remember. Okay, I see it now. You hold down left trigger, right trigger, bumper, bumper. Okay. Okay, now that makes sense. Yeah, I just, I was like going, how the hell did they do that? And I looked again and I was like, how? Oh, I want to do that again. That was cool. How come he gets all the nice toys? Maybe <sighs> nine Batman was awesome. I'm not talking about that. I'm still salty at that, uh... That frog. Whole time not skipping a beat, playing his loot. If I had the skill, I would absolutely go to a medieval fair and just play a loop. But that's fun as heck, too, just kind of chilling out. He'd be like, what'd you do for your summer? Oh, I hung out at a medieval fair, just played loop. This mace is actually better than the long sword, it looks like. Because it's fast, it does a lot of a fair, moderate amount of damage. And that chart, that, that super ability I did there, that was awesome. Look at that AoE of damage, too. Oh no, don't play the music! No, no, don't play it, please! No! I had the thing up! No! That was my fault! Oh!
My freaking brain was sitting there the whole time. Like, oh, I better heal real quick. <laughs> I forgot I had the loot out. <laughs> I thought I had the mushroom sitting there for some corner of my eye. I wasn't even fully looking at it. I thought I just saw a mushroom. And so I just like, okay, I'll cast this mushroom. And as I pause as I'm sit down, I was like, ah, oh, Ain't no mushroom. The best blonde moment I've ever had in my life. This guy loots response to be over here. I'm over here like I'm just gonna drop down whenever. Shut up back there. You don't have to want to keep popping mushrooms. this corner. Okay, so I can get ethologies from her, forbidden offering from her, so okay, I can come back to her later. Poor thing just sitting there hanging out by herself. That staircase looks awesome. This freaking armor daddy over here. I don't know what that doing. He's planning no good, it looks like. That's how we handle our armor daddy. He just runs straight through. Okay, the, the, the number one rule when you see an armor daddy hanging out, blocking a staircase, you lure him out and you run around him. There you go. There's a tip. There's a tip. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but you may regret trespassing. I speak not only of my brothers and sisters, but of their twins. Just as every flame casts a shadow, so too does the spirit. 
and here they manifest. Reflections birthed from a broken mirror, a shattered place. Mm. Best not to burden yourself with such Run thoughts. away! Okay, there is... Okay, that one's tempting, too. The wardens seized me in the morning. I did not resist. The Elvet proclaimed I was unfit and impure. But I couldn't focus on the verdict. Beneath the shadow of the Immaculates, I felt no pain. I swelled with pride as my eyes beheld her inscrutable form. She was the last remnant of an unquestionable grace, lost eons ago. Great, so we need about uh, roughly 100 something more. I'm looking at the time here, about to wrap it up in about eight minutes. And we'll give one attempt to this. Mystery One, welcome on in. Also, be back here tomorrow, by the way. Be do doing a Saturday stream with some mist. Oh, crap! Kid you not, as soon as I come over here, that's when he starts acting silly. Did 
ready. Right here is when he starts acting silly. That's a very weird bug. I mean, I'll take it though. I want that hammer and chisel. All right, but that'll wrap up our stream though. He just got right up like nothing happened. Right there is Mortal Shell. Super awesome game as far as I'm concerned. I hope you're doing well, Fluffy Games, by the way. Ooh, 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 ooh. tight muscle right there. Ooh. Gotta do some stretches after. Thank you, Arg. Uh, for myself here, I'm gonna go ahead and dip out. This is a scene transition, man. But again, coming up in under five minutes is some Kilgore Trout. Going to be playing some more of his awesome series here for Hero. I'm going to keep saying Heroes. My brain wants to keep saying Heroes, and it blurts out slightly. Might and Magic 4 and 5 <laughs> World of Scene. <laughs> but I'll be back here tomorrow on GOG for some of Mist, the 2021 version. I'll be playing some of that here on the channel, and I'll be back here on Monday doing my usual thing. And after the first, I might be going back to my own original stream for its usual time. Got some stuff I have to do on there. So as always, everyone, take care, and I thank you, everyone, for your love. Stay tuned. Kilgore's coming up next. Words slurring me hungry. Gotta go. Bye. This is a scene transition, man. Can I agree with you?